Hola amigas, hola amigos, bienvenido, welcome to Hoovalux, Dorian here, assalamu alaikum, bienvenue. Now today I'm going to do something a little different because it's not just vacuum cleaners, it's also gadgets. So the first gadget I'm going to do a little review on is this. By Clovic Kitchen Originals Pie Maker. Anyway, it's a pie maker. I've never used one of these before, and I thought, oh, that looks really good. So I thought I'd do a little gadget review on it. So I took it out of the box, and everything was fine. It's really good. It's got its label on it there. It says, made in the PRC. Uh, designed in the UK and ethically sourced from China, Kitchen Originals, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, looks really good, just looks like a, you know, the sandwich maker type of grill type of thing, but with the pie, kind of, quite big pies, I have to say, not skimpy on the pies. It's got the top part here and the bottom part here, the deep fill part. So, um, it looks really sturdy. I haven't switched it on or anything yet. I have wiped it and uh, cleaned it. I just haven't actually, you're supposed to oil it um, to or, or season it, as they call it. So, first thing I'm going to do is grab, I've got all the ingredients here. Grab a piece of, <coughs> sorry, should have had this ready piece of kitchen roll. I'm going to spray and season with some fry light. The tips of this. I'm going to take about five or six minutes to get said on the instructions to um, heat up for the first time and it might smell a bit so what you get with it is this cutter so you cut this side with these grooves on it and that makes the base short crust pastry turn it around and then cut with that and you have the tops on puff pastry you're supposed to drape it over because this is going to be extremely hot when you're doing this so you have to place it over and use a spoon or a ladle to push it in shut up Alexa then you use then you put in your filling you put on your top I've got a little bit of milk here just to put on the top of it a little bit of milk on the top close the lid down it's red when it's heating and it's green when it's maintaining the temperature and it'll click on and off, uh, apparently. Now the first thing I don't like about it is the cord. The cord is extremely short. I'm doing this um, on top of the cooker and because the extractor fan is there. So, you know, any steam or smells or whatever will go up in the extractor fan. So I've had to use an extension cable to get it from there so I can actually plug it in. So. Let's plug it in. And the red lights come on. And I'm gonna leave it get up to temperature. And what I'm gonna do is while that's getting up to temperature, I'm going to prepare the pastry. So I've already bought it, and I'm making pastry. Ready, roll, short crust pastry by Sainsbury's, other ones are available. And puff pastry ready rolled by Sainsbury's as well, one sheet each. So the short crust pastry is for the base, and then the puff pastry then is going to be for the lids. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to do the short crust pastry. Okay, so I've unrolled my pastry, and I'm going to cut. I'm not going to get much out of this. I just generally leave an outline, one there. One there. And that said you're only gonna get I'm only gonna get two out of this. I'll 
have to re-roll this and see if I can make another one. I've got enough fillings to make three. Hmm. Right, the reason why they've got these grooves on it is so when you put it out and when you put it into the, the pie, you can push it in on the side so you don't get any wrinkles. It's really cool. It's really clever that you, that you can do that. So I'm going to cut out these two pieces first. Okay, I now have my puff pastry rolled out. So using the opposite side of this, I'm going to cut out two lids. This place is not going to go to waste, it will be used, I'll make more pies, I'll have to roll that out. So let's go to my filling. <clears throat> I have my filling here already made. Um, it's, been fro it's been frozen, so it looks a bit wacky at the moment, but it is, it's um, meat and potato. That it's already pre-cooked. They do not put raw ingredients, raw meat in these, because they only take about 8 to 10 minutes to cook and the insides won't be cooked. You have to cook the inside. Um, I think you can. I think it'll be fine with some of the fruit. I think they said it was okay with fruit to put it in raw, um, but not um, not anything like this, like meat and chicken and uh, those kinds of things. So you have to cook it first. So that's my filling. It does not very appetizing, but it is. Once it's heated up, it is very, very, extremely, very delicious. Okay, so the pan. The pie maker is still heating up at the moment, so it takes about five to six minutes, they said, to heat up. So I'm going to leave that heat up, and then we're going to move on to the um, actual um, ass assembly of it inside the uh, the pie maker. Okay, it is heated up. The green light um, went off, and you know it, it, it's ready. It's heated. So. Let's open this. Ooh, a little bit of steam came off there. I'm going to take my first piece of pastry, place it over, like it said, and to use a ladle to push it. Well, that doesn't really work. I need to use my fingers gently. I don't want to tear a hole. the pastry. Oh god, that's gonna look homemade, doesn't it? Looks very authentically homemade. <laughs> okay, that's the first one in. I'm gonna try it differently. I'm gonna try and put it in like that. I'm not watching the camera now, I'm watching the pie. It's going to be a bit sick on that side. It'll cook through. Why is it wonky and it's falling here? Level. Okay, so that's the bases in. It's heating up, it's getting squidgy. Now I'm going to pop in my filling, which I have here. Right. Now I'm going to put the tops on. And I'm going to brush a little bit of milk on the top. I guess I should have used eggs, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Close the lid. Close the lid tight. Fasten the hatch at the top. Steaming away. Hey Siri. 
Hey Siri. No, it's not Siri, is it? Um, Alexa, set yes. a timer for 10 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes. Starting now. Siri and Alexa are talking to me at the same time. Um, right, so I set it for eight minutes. And you're supposed to leave that now for eight minutes. And I'll come back. We'll open it up and we'll have a look. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the pastry to make another two pies. Didn't actually use as much filling as I thought, so... Steam it away. Okay, let's just leave it. Okay, my timer has gone off for eight minutes. So let's have a look. Ooh. It's a bit stuck. Wow. Ow. I'm going to have to put you down. Hang on, I'm going to have to pop you on. I just had to pop you on pause in for a second. Oh my god. They look amazing! Wow. They're hot. Hang on, I'm going to transfer them over. Ow! Onto the plate. Wow. That is amazing. That's brilliant. Wow. Oh, wow. They look really good. Right, let me take these bits of cooked pastry off. I've cut some to make another another two. I'm going to put you down while I put the um, inside in. I think it'll be easier with two hands. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and think of a different way to get these in easier. Anyway, let's continue with some of that. Let's put some filling in. close the lids on these. Now, they say the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Mm. I'll turn it upside down. Let's get a knife. Let's cut this in half. warm all the way through but it's only warm it's not hot all the way through so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for a minute just to make sure the inside is cooked and I'm gonna try it so let me get the microwave Than put it in the microwave, but I do want the inside warm. So I think I've still got more pastry left, so I might. Got lots of filling, I have to get some more pastry tomorrow. Make more pies. Yeah, that was definitely all. Alexa, set a timer for nine minutes. So there we go. Okay, so I've done that. Oh my gosh, they do look really nice. Let me try some. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. 
Definitely, that is very nom nom nom. I'm really impressed with that. I'm really really impressed. I didn't think it was going to be as good as um, as good as that, but it's really cooked the pastry, lovely and crispy, nice and brown. So yeah, I can highly recommend that. Definitely, if you like pies, go out and buy a pie maker.